all of our lives we've been told that you have to go to school half your life, maybe even have to be blessed by Michelangelo at birth to ever be able to paint a picture. And here we want to show you that that's not true, that you can paint a picture right along okay. with us. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. I brought y'all mm -hmm. some pilot knives. Thank you. Ah, okay. okay. Stop playing with the dog. Stop playing with the dog. What am I supposed to do? She's dropping it on the paper. Gigi, come hey. here. Wait, that's not helpful. That's like, so Christmas green will work. Yeah. What do we think about this color? It's fine. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> we should put, put the, the colors the, on yeah. our palette. That's, yeah. We're going to start with a big brush, and we're going to cover the canvas with a thin layer of magic white. Barley. Barley. Barley! Barley, shut <laughs> off! Barley! And I beat the brush just to dry the bristles. Poop. That's too much. Okay, hold on. Let's start right here with a little bit of cad yellow with just the least little touch of phthalo green. We'll add a little bit more of the green color and we'll begin making little X's. Already we begin to, to have a light source in this painting. It looks like it's a green fry <laughs> This is gonna look like the night sky coming out of the sun. <laughs> add just a little bit of titanium white right here in the center. Join us, have some fun. And we'll just blend this out a little bit more here till we have a nice smooth sky. I think you would be disappointed. <laughs> oh. Now let's start putting in some, let's put in some almighty trees here. We're gonna start with a little bit of alizarin crimson and a touch of Prussian blue. All right, Bob, you're painted three. Okay, hold on, you're painted three. One more tree over there. I know. There he comes. These little son of a guns hiding your brush, and you just have to push him out. <laughs> Why is he better than mine? <laughs> Tree shapes, a light source. Looks to me like it's early in the morning. Now, let's put some trunks in these trees. Maybe some little something right there. And maybe some limbs up in here. This tree will highlight right here. You were supposed to mix it with a white, uh, green, and yellow. You can do it. I know you can. Now, you know, if we're going to walk through the woods, we need a little path. Just let him wander around, play, have fun. Oh, okay. Oh, mine is terrible. It'll give us sort of a shot. It's a waterfall, so. We'll add some bushes that project up over the path here and there. You know, after it rains, you always have little rain puddles. <laughs> what happened? I got stuck. <laughs> Hold on, we need to keep painting. <laughs> oh. Look at what we have. Beauty is everywhere. You only have to look to see it. I am done. We're not done. I can't fit that other tree in mine. Can you? Can you fit another tree in there? I can try. It's in the foreground. And we'll put some little water lines back in here. Cut a few little sticks here and there. They just live right here in your brush. And you just drop them right in. Do -do -boop -boop -boop. Sign this rascal. And if painting teaches you nothing else, it'll teach you to look at nature with different eyes. It'll teach you to see things that have been there all your life and you've never noticed. Until next week. Happy painting from all of us here.